What's going on YouTube and welcome to another video with Review Zone. Now in today's episode, I will show you how to create your own Instagram account and how to optimize your Instagram account. Now before we jump to it, I want you to understand that Instagram is a very powerful component also when it comes to your business. As also in my last tutorial when we were speaking about optimizing your YouTube channel, which is also very uh, powerful content um, when it comes to your business, Instagram allows you to do exactly the same as YouTube channel, just in a different shift of plate. So what do I mean by that? On YouTube, you can actually uh, publish your videos and that content is within a textile uh, video. Okay. Now in Instagram, you're only allowed to publish images. Now you can also do short uh, videos, 15 second videos, two minute second videos. Okay. It's possible. However, the concept of Instagram is mostly based of sharing and publishing images. Well, when these images, you also can have a textile structure. Now, so why Instagram is a very important component? First, we need to understand that there are around 2.5 billion users that actually use Instagram. So this is also a very powerful component if you know how to use Instagram and utilize Instagram with your other social platforms, which will automatically allow you to establish authority over your branding or your business. Now, so I want to give you actually the overview of today's video. So I will be jumping into showing you how to actually create your own Instagram account. We also will be looking how to optimize that Instagram account. We also be jumping in and looking within inside Instagram. And there are a couple things you need to know before we get started. So the first thing I want you to understand that each of the social platform externally, if it's Instagram, if it's YouTube, can be connected to any other social platform. So which means in this case, if you do already have existing YouTube channel, we can connect your Instagram account to that YouTube channel, which will allow the YouTube algorithm and the Instagram algorithm to understand that you have authority over different social platforms, which will automatically rank your contents higher or put your contents in front of more viewers, which will automatically also allow to establish more engagement within your branding or your business. Now, second rule, in order for you to scale your uh, business, your branding business within YouTube or Instagram, we will use what's known a hashtag method. I will, I will explain you shortly what hashtag method exactly means. And by the way, I'm actually going to drop another video, uh, how to actually optimize our YouTube account using hashtags. Okay. So if you, if you want to actually know how to optimize that account and put your contents in front of more viewers, I will do an external video for you, uh, tutorial video, how to actually optimize your contents within Instagram using hashtags. So, if you are currently watching this video, just finish to watch this video and then jump into optimizing your Instagram account by using hashtags. Okay. Now let's jump straight to it. And if you're ready, then let's go. So first of all, I want you to open your own browser. And this is, this is my browser. I actually, for this, uh, the third purposes, I have created my own uh, Gmail account just to show you actually how we are going to sign up for Instagram. So first of what you want to do, this is the actual how it looks, but if you don't know how to locate this page, what you want to go, uh, you want to do, go to the google.com. Just type in uh, google.com. So that's G O O G L E dot C O M. So google.com and then what you want to type in uh, on your browser is you want to search for Instagram, uh, Instagram create account. Okay. That's what you want to do. So just click on uh, Instagram create account and it will automatically give you the option of signing up to Instagram. So we're just going to click that. Now, what you want to understand once, um, once this actually sh opens up, there will be a couple things you need to know. 
Now, if you do have your Facebook account already, you can link it automatically with your Facebook just by automatically allowing uh, Instagram to log in with your Facebook account. Okay, that's one. Second of all, you can actually have your email, your first name, your username, and your password created, which will automatically also take you. Okay, so first, what we're gonna do is we gonna we automatically gonna uh, so yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna create our account. So we're just gonna type in your email account. Okay, so. now so the username is already taking so let's have rob wolf rob okay this is just an example obviously take your uh, take a little bit of time of understanding exactly what you want to have um, and what type of username you want the better username you have the more catchy your username is the more easier for your audience will be to remember so do think about it a little bit i'm just doing it on the rush um, so first of all, next thing you need to know is create your date of birth. Uh, you probably know that. So just fill in uh, your details. Again, I'm just gonna do a random, and then say one, and next. Okay. So they actually send a confirmation code to my uh, email address. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm currently actually logged onto Instagram's platform. I got my code approve, approval from Instagram to my social uh, inbox email, which was Gmail. So, I actually entered the code and I automatically gave me the access. So, that's done. The second thing you need to know when you actually log on to Instagram, you need to actually connect it to the Facebook because Facebook actually owns Instagram. They operate under a name called Meta. This will also create an external social backlink to another social platform, which will actually stabilize your rankings on Instagram and Facebook. So what you actually need to do, need to know, uh, you need to also put your profile picture and you need to start putting posts. But when you put your post into the description, what you need to do is put a hashtag. And let's say your post is about business. And when you put business, you automatically see how many posts are in, in that category. And as you currently see in business, we have 94,590,192 posts. And these posts are increasing by every single day. So once you actually put a hashtag to business and you post a picture, your picture will be front of million people which can actually access your picture. So you're actually exposing your post in front of more audience which is actually a very strong and powerful component when you are actually building your Instagram account. And in order for you to actually grow, you need to expose your Instagram account. And the only way you can actually do it, if you use hashtags. If you put a picture, let's say you, you post a business uh, picture every single day to business, right? So now people that usually log on to business will see your post. So once they like your post, they also can automatically hop into the option of actually following your account. And this is what becomes a very powerful component because now externally you are building your audience to posting your posts to different hashtags. And in a nutshell, this is what is actually optimizing your account. These hashtags, having a picture, profile picture, having a description, uh, also leading to your, uh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can actually uh, link it back to YouTube channel in the description box for the people to check out your YouTube channel. And this is how you actually start building audience. Now, I'm going to end this video with actually allowing you to understand that if you are creating backlinks like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and you are all connecting them, you're allowing a external audience expose these channels to actually post it on posting uh, on them. This will automatically allow you to actually build and grow your audience. Now, if you did enjoy this video, I uh, hope you liked it as well. Then smash the subscribe button, like this video, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.